Hello, I'm Liam Murphy, and the memoir I chose today was A Night by Elie Wiesel. His memoir takes place during World War II from 1941 to 1945, mainly during 1944 to 1945. Elie lives with his parents and sisters in Siget, Romania. The story follows Elie in Nazi concentration camps, particularly Auschwitz and Buchenwald. The main conflict of night is Ellie's internal struggle with his beliefs in God. After seeing his neighbors torn from houses, separated with his mothers and sisters, and watching his father being beaten, he starts to question God itself. On page 45, when Wiesel says, I was not denying his existence, but I doubted his absolute justice. And as well on page 69, Wiesel says, Deep inside me, a great void, starts opening, signifying the faith he had at the start of the book has soon perished. Faith once brought his family together, so from the start of losing his faith, he began dissing himself from his father. The ramifications of his loss of faith causes him to question the existence of God. Why such a figure exists, even though tragedies like Holocaust still occur? The guilt Eliot shows towards the end of the story is almost painful. He isn't able to cope with the responsibility of being a survivor, while many others like him perished. At the end of the story, a newly added chapter in this edition, Ellie says, From the depths of the mirror, a corpse was contemplating me. The look in his eyes as he gazed at me has never left me. Page 115. Referring back to his trauma and psychological response of being able to survive such an event. The epiphany of night appears towards the end of the story during the march to Buchenwald. Ellie struggles to care for his own father while juggling his own survival. In Buchenwald, Ellie feeds his father all of his rations, barely giving himself any rations. But he's only met with, Why are you so mean to me, my son? Or, Where is my water, son? Page 111. During the morning of his father's death, he's woken without a body near him. No tomb or candle. He called out for Ellie, but Ellie did not answer. As quoted, If I could have re searched the recesses of my feeble conscience, I might have found something like, Free at last. Page 112. He witnessed the travesties of war, and per the perception of himself and the world has changed forever. The resolution of the memoir is quick and firm. Ellie says, With only desire to eat, I no longer thought of my father or my mother. Page 113. Proving his loss of faith, family, and his heart. Not once in the conclusion of the story did it mention either his faith or family. Ellie is long past that piece of his spirituality that he only cares about his hunger. It's quick, but he tells us of his indomitable human spirit and that we're only human after all. We always strive to keep ourselves alive. The final moments of Buchenwald are nothing but emptiness, since at that time he has nothing left in himself. Ellie isn't the same young boy as he was at the start of the story, so full of faith, but he wishes he was. In conclusion, Ellie changes as a person by the end of the story, from starting as an innocent child to a warrior survivor. Over the course of the, his journey, losing his faith and his family, in the preface, we know Ellie regains his faith in God, but sh only slowly. He doesn't fully trust God yet. The loyalty he had for his father was beyond normal compassion, but even then, his relationship tore apart, proving that even the strongest of families can change in such drastic events. Elie Wiesel is a survivor of one, and if not, the worst travesty known to mankind. Only as a kid, almost the same age as me. Thank you for listening to my presentation about Night by Ellie Wiesel.